Hello, my name is Janne and I'm a 3D artist at Chaos. And I'll show you how to use streamlines inside Phoenix to help you interactively adjust forces and also to achieve some cool effects. We will use a simple fire scene, which we have prepared and pre-simulated, as you can see. We'll put a turbulence force to randomize the fire a bit. I'll turn off the auto detail reduction in the simulator preview rollout and adjust it manually. This is in order to see the streamlines better as they depend on the viewport preview. We can now turn on four streamlines and we can add the turbulence to the list of forces we want visualized. Now I'll turn off the GPU preview as well in order to see the streamlines better. And we can see them right away as we run through the timeline. And we can tweak the force now based on what we see. Let's increase the size of the turbulence and see a proper manifestation of the force in the viewport. One thing to mention is that we don't need a simulation at all to visualize streamlines. We can delete the simulation cache and we will still see the force preview. We can now play a bit with the streamlines preview and colors. We will turn off auto range and adjust the range to set for which values the streamlines are generated. In this way, we can control their length. Then we can even further fine tune them by using the lines length parameter. Increasing it makes them more hair like, and decreasing it can leave just the vector style directions. As it gets a little too crowded in the viewport, we can turn on the slice preview and adjust the width to get a cleaner look. We can now more clearly see the directions and twirls of the force. Let's make the streamlines a bit shorter for now. And if we turn off the S rainbow setting, we can also control their gradient viewport colors. When we're happy with it, we can turn them to a static shape spline, which can be visualized and rendered. This can be useful in different cases, representing forces vectors or just for artistic purposes. Let's delete this plane now, as it is static, and we can turn on Auto Bake. This will generate an interactive spline which is updated through the timeline for each frame. We'll turn off the spline viewport preview in order to see it better and get faster animation update. As we can see, when we scrub through the timeline, the spline is interactively updated in the viewport. We'll delete it now and turn off four streamlines to explore another cool trick. We can turn on velocity streamlines. This will generate streamlines from the velocity vectors of the fire and smoke we have in the simulator. How to bake is still on, so we get a shape right away. Then we can make it renderable and it is animated as well and updated together with the simulation in the viewport. However, it is not updated when rendering an animation. As an alternative, you can use a hair and fur modifier 
to render the animated spline. Let's make a cool looking material for our streamline now. I'll use the simple V-Ray shader. And we can add a hair info texture to the self-illumination slot. And I'll adjust the colors to red and yellow tones representing fire, in order to match our campfire colors. I'll turn on Compensate Camera Exposure because of the physical camera we use in this scene. Let's apply the material to our spline and check out how it looks. I can now render it together with the fire for a nice effect. We can use this in different scenarios representing fluids, smokes and fires. We can show aerodynamic tunnels, lines and graphs looking cool and really easy to set up. You can share any cool ideas you might have in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find it useful. If you have any questions or suggestions of what you want to see next, don't hesitate to write in the comments below. And of course, it will be awesome if you like, share and subscribe.